Hello everyone, here from the country of South Africa. Once again, a new country for us. And we're in Cape Town. We've already been here a few days, but I've just been recovering. For those of you that watch this channel, you'll know that I was a bit sick in Namibia, where we were previously, some sort of cold. I don't, I don't know what it was. And right now we're at a park called the Waterfront. Definitely enjoying the milder climate here. Yeah, uh, in Namibia it was extremely hot. <laughs> But here the weather is being great so far. Uh, when it's sunny, it gets a bit hot, but just like normal, not extremely hot. And when it's like this, it's a bit chilly. We even brought our coats. <laughs> yeah, I think now it's just around 22 degrees Celsius. And I think at max, it's only getting to around 27. Now maybe it was like 40, which is dangerously hot. So yeah, definitely enjoying this weather down south. So we're just gonna walk around here a bit. I think this is like a mall, Victoria Wharf. I guess that's named after Queen Victoria since the Brits colonized this for a period, this country. Where are we at here? Yeah. Okay, it looks like there's a few sites. This looks like an interesting area. just pass through that mall back there and I think this is the main area now because you can see the harbor here it's actually a cruise ship over there I didn't even know there was a, a cruise terminal and back there you can get a view of the famous Table Mountain I think it's that one on the right or is it all Table Mountain I don't know <laughs> I don't know that part looks like a table so maybe that's that's the one <laughs> Yeah, I think that's definitely it. Super flat on top. And we're planning on going there later on. Yeah, because it's one of the main things to do here in Cape Town. So we might check it out later on. So you can do loads of different boat tours around here. Got the pirate looking ship over there. I don't think we're going to have time to do boat tours on this trip. So we've got a lot, of, a lot of things planned over the next few days. But it definitely would be cool to see dolphins, whales all sorts Shark. sharks yeah <laughs> i think here you can go like uh, inside the water on a like a cage like a summer oh yeah like i've seen that before and the sharks come next to you but i wouldn't do that not at all <laughs> yeah i've seen videos of that before where you're in the cage i don't like the idea of that either quick intermission to talk about the sponsor of this video, Surfshark, which is our recommended VPN provider that we've been using for the past three years while traveling. Even when we are not on the road, it is one of the most important apps that we keep on our devices. Surfshark allows us to have a private connection, keeping our personal information and sensitive data safe from potential hackers on any network that we connect to. With Surfshark, we can avoid online restrictions when visiting internet restricted countries, for example, when we traveled to Turkey, we could only access some online booking platforms by using a VPN. So Surfshark saved us a lot of headaches when booking accommodations. Besides that, Surfshark gives you access to all Netflix libraries. 
Depending on the country that we are in, we have access to limited series and films on Netflix, but with Surfshark we can set our devices to any location and that way we can watch all the series or films that we want. With just one single Surfshark subscription, you can connect to unlimited devices for your entire household. Click on the link in the video description which has the discount code Jumping Places to get 3 months for free and that also includes a 30 day money back guarantee policy. So that's cool, we got some seals here. Didn't need to do the boat tour for these guys. South African fur seals. Looking very lazy. And smelly. <laughs> lazy and smelly. There's one swimming around here somewhere too. Oh, he's back there. It says here that the male seals can weigh up to 300 kilos and the female ones only weigh 75 kilos. Massive difference. They can stay underwater for about 30 minutes before surfacing, but tend to dive only for a few minutes at a time. So we ended up getting into a uh, Uber, which they have around here, and we come to a really cool looking neighborhood called Bocap. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. As you can see, it's extra colorful. Also known as the Malay Quarter. So this neighborhood was established in the 1700s. At the time, the Dutch ruled here, and they had trouble trying to enslave the local indigenous groups. So they brought people from Southeast Asia, like uh, Indonesia and Malaysia, where the Dutch also had colonies at the time. They brought the people and they were the ones that lived around here, which is why it has the name the Malay Quarter. So I think even now the Muslims are the majority, over 50%, but there was a time where it was 100%. They were the only ones that were allowed to live in the neighborhood. And even from here, we can still see Table Mountain. I think we're even closer now. Probably see that massive thing from almost everywhere in Cape Town. stopped at this local place to have a meal. We were gonna eat on the waterfront, but it was expensive there. I don't know how you pronounce the name, Bismillah? Not sure. Assalamu alaikum. Says that this is run by a local family established in 1982. So they have Cape Malay dishes and also Cape Indian dishes. 
So I went for a Cape Malay dish called Sago Bready. So this is like lamb in some sort of stew. And there's the Sago Pearls, which is like a tapioca cassava. And I went for roti, could have got rice as well. And that was 155 overall. And Carol went for the Cape Indian dish. Yeah, fish curry, 165. Smells great. Yeah, so this is like one of the famous dishes here, Malay dishes. Mm. Yeah, that's amazing, the, the stew, taste of the stew. There's also some potato in there. Real spicy? Yeah, quite spicy, but really good. This is actually the first time that I'm eating fish curry. I usually, when I'm at, like, eating Indian food, I usually get the vegetarian ones. But this is really good, I love it. And I went for the chai tea, 35. I haven't had this in a while. I think in India I'd have like two or three of these every day. Now we're just gonna wander around the neighborhood a bit more. Even the moss here are a beautiful color. I read that one of the moss is from the 1800s. I don't know if it's that one. Looks like the place is in uh, Bahia, Brazil. Yeah, colorful like this. Some of those places in Bahia also had the, the cobbled streets too. Really is nice, especially with the ultra blue skies today. And I read that this neighborhood has the most buildings from before the 1850s. They actually look kind of new though. <laughs> yeah, so like this one, it's very like well painted. I'm, think th I'm thinking that they are like uh, renovating and painting all the time because of tourists. Yeah, it kind of looks brand new. So just a bit down from that last neighborhood, we have the city center where we're staying. We're about a 12 minute walk from there. I think you saw a lot of places to stay around here. Yeah, many hotels. I think that's where most of the tourists stay because the, 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 the harbor area, the waterfront is very expensive. So this is more affordable, but still, you can still find the five star hotels around here. And we'll be showing our place later on, which was yeah. really good value yeah. for what we got. So it's kind of a mix of modern buildings and then you get these more like classical, European old buildings around here over there too so I think we're actually gonna stop by our place before we head to Table Mountain we'll get in an uber again so we got a nice market here some cool colorful souvenirs and check this church out too a real gothic looking church like the ones that you see around England so it's kind of hard to see with the Sun hidden the sign but this is Green Market Square the vibrant heart of Cape Town for over 300 years base of the Table Mountain now, where you get the cable car up to that point there I think. Seems like it's pretty packed because there's car parked all the way down the road here and it was 65 to get here in the Uber, about a 15 minute drive. Already get amazing views from here though. 
without even going up. It's going to be windy up there if it's already yeah, this windy here. Already windy here. That's why we brought our jackets. <laughs> yeah, I think it'll be pretty chilly up there. So we just got the tickets. We bought them here, but you can buy them online if you want. And those are 360 per person. And that's to go up and down. She did ask if we're going up and down. So I don't know if that means you can walk down or something, but we're going up and down. So we have made it. Wow, what a view. <laughs> we are above the clouds. We couldn't even see the clouds on this side. No, only here. There's more over there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if they're they're coming in. On the side that we got the cable car over there, there was no clouds at all. Can even see some beaches around here. When we make another video around this area, we're hoping to check out the beaches. So we're gonna walk around and try and get all the angles before the clouds come in. They might never come, I don't know. <laughs> the, the tablecloth. That's what they call it, you said. Yeah, when there's like a layer of clouds that come above this place, I think they call the tablecloth. And that's what I see. I think it's coming. <laughs> so I think we're around 1060 meters above sea level here so i think our plan on the other day is to drive around all this area here yeah there are many hikes to do but we might do one i don't know if we have time to do more it's a very good place for nature lovers because as you can see it's just so beautiful so you can drive all the way to the bottom and loop around that will be another video though i think there's a wedding going on over here looks like a wedding Nice place for a wedding. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. is Cape of the Storms so it has listed some of the famous shipwrecks all these are 20 of them the shipwrecks along this coast although this says there's over 650 over the past 400 years so we said that it was gonna be crazy windy up here because it was so windy at the base but there's literally zero wind like none whatsoever not even a gentle breeze all right now we've cut across to the the other side where we came from wow look at the size of that beach there gigantic peach there's also an island that you can see over there i think it's called robin island you can do boat tours to that place from the marina where we were before 
So it's definitely awesome just how much you can walk around up here. I thought it was going to be a smaller area, but it seems like you can explore pretty much everywhere. Go wherever you want to go. The cable car was really cool because the floor rotated. So it didn't matter where you'd stand, you'd end up seeing all the angles because you were spinning around. So I think this will be as far as we go today. Not sure if you can climb all the way over there too. You can see that mountain in the distance. There's some trails there that are visible even from here. So I think that's Devil's Peak, another popular place to hike. Yeah, before I came here, uh, people would come to us and say, oh, since I'm from Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, they would say that Cape Town is basically Rio but in a different continent and that's what we were expecting but I'm not sure if because I am from Rio de Janeiro born and raised I don't think it's like the same I see some similarities of course the mountains and like the fact that there's like big mountains in the middle of a big city that's very similar from what we've seen uh, the touristic part of Cape Town is kind of like this area here uh, not very spread out in Rio I think it's a bit more spread out but we love Cape Town it's really really beautiful one of the most beautiful cities we've ever seen because of the mix of like a big city and the nature like I said it's really amazing So this is the apartment that we're staying in. It's $51 a day, which is a pretty good price. Really a big apartment, really spacious. And we're right in the city center, pretty close to a lot of the attractions. I always like these kind of sofas where you can lie down, head on, watch TV. And we got the kitchen, so we'll probably be doing a lot of cooking. And then there's two bathrooms. There's one here for the main living room. And this is the bedroom, also a really big bedroom, really nice and spacious too. And we've got a bathtub and a shower, so that's good. The internet also seems to be pretty good. And here they don't do what they call load shedding. South Africa seems to have some sort of like power, electricity issues, so some accommodations can't provide you with power or electricity the entire day. But I think here in the downtown area, because it's like the business district, they always have power, so I don't think we should be having that issue here. And I'm not sure how safe it is here at night. Um, we have noticed that the homeless situation here is really bad, especially in the downtown. There's a huge camping area near some like fort looking place. I suppose it kind of looked like, um, what is it, Skid Row in California, that famous place. It's kind of like that, so there's a lot of beggars. A lot of people that seem like they're on drugs so when you're walking around you're constantly passing them that doesn't exactly mean you're you're unsafe but yeah there's just a lot of that going on that's all and overall it's been a really good day first day here in south africa and there's more videos to come 
going to be exploring more of Cape Town and also doing a safari here. So looking forward to that. If you like this video, drop a like as usual to support us. Subscribe to see more videos like this. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook and we'll see you around.